During World War II, a pesticide called DDT was sprayed over military camps to kill any insects carrying infectious diseases like malaria and typhus. The effectiveness of the pesticide caught the eye of farmers and chemical companies and was therefore used and commercialized after the war for increasing the yield of crops. As a result, the pesticide was sprayed all around the world. No one knew of the negative effects of DDT on humans and animals until Rachel Carson brought it to light. Rachel Carson was born in 1907 and was raised on Lowell Farm in Pennsylvania. She went on to study literature, marine biology and zoology, all before the age of 25. Rachel always had a love for writing and combined her two interests, writing several books about the sea, the most famous one being The Sea Around Us, which won her a U.S. National Book Award. But she was faced with sexism as reporters discussed her appearance more than the book itself. Her true heroism started when she received a letter mentioning a bird that died due to pesticides. She began researching on the matter and discovered increasing medical reports of animals and humans falling ill from DDT poisoning. In response, she wrote the book Silent Spring, where she explains the dangers of DDT. For example, when DDT enters the food chain, it collects in the fatty tissue of the animals eating the sprayed food, meaning that if humans eat those animals, the pesticide passes to them, which could potentially cause cancer. She revealed that DDT is not a pesticide, but a biocide, as it affects more organisms than intended. Also, DDT remains in environments for a long time, damaging ecosystems. Her ideas were controversial, and she was met with personal attacks calling her hysterical and insane. She knew the consequences of publishing this book, but still chose to do it, to save nature. That is true selflessness, fit for a hero. By receiving support from other experts, her ideas were accepted, leading to the ban of DDT 10 years later. Unfortunately, she didn't live to witness it, meaning that she never got the recognition she deserved, as the people who were physically there got the most credit. Despite this, Rachel is regarded as the pioneer of environmentalism, but her story and the fact that she was a woman in science when the field was male-dominated is not recognised enough. This is why she is my unsung hero.